Welcoming guests to the dinner, the chairman on the occasion, Dr. Richard Yasere, commended the president and the Epilepsy Foundation, Mrs. Angela Semota, and her team for being in the forefront of the advocacy for the treatment and care for epilepsy patients. And the Epilepsy Foundation spends a lot of money every year taking care of people who are suffering from this medical condition of epilepsy. She needs money to do that. They also need money to build a place where these people are taken care of. The president of the foundation, Mrs. Angela Semota, who said she has helped many families whose children are sufferers to understand that the disease is not a dead sentence, says that it can be managed through medical help. There is a day set aside for the sensitization of the general public of the reality of epilepsy and the need to come to the assistance of those who cannot help themselves. This we have done for eight years. And this year we talk about the role of religion in epilepsy care. The doctor treats, but God heals. Because we believe that God can cure epilepsy. We also believe that doctors can treat epilepsy. Today's dinner is to kickstart our activities for the week to mark this year purple day. In a paper presentation titled The Role of Women in Epilepsy Care, a counselor, Reverend Sister Mary Alao, said women have a vital role to play in the care of patients with the ailment. If you have an epilepsy child before you and you need to care for this child, you want to know what is epilepsy, what triggers it, what are the causes, how will she manage, what kind of first aid we should give. So because when you know what you are to do, you are, you are more confident and the stress is greatly reduced. Other guests lauded Angie Epilepsy Foundation for what it's doing for epilepsy patients. The Ministry of Education is already doing that by allowing them access into schools to educate these little ones so that if they have friends who are locked up in isolation, in homes, and uh, you know, they can give information. Epilepsy awareness is something that the hospital is very much concerned about and we are doing a lot. Help is available. It can be managed that they shouldn't just chain them inside the house or lock them in the house. The dinner featured a fundraising for the purpose of a building for the foundation. Purple Day is an annual celebration aimed at raising worldwide awareness of epilepsy, a condition that affects over 65 million people globally. Deborah Ugefun reporting.